Palace. Frozen pitches back home meant that they used the big one at Toman Park. They've got an even bigger one here now, and a bouncing ball that needs to be sorted out and is Pierre-Louis Barassi with the kind of incision that's attracted Fabian Galtier's attention. Dupont pops it back up again for Tuma. This is Alexandre Ruma. No! And then bursting through Peter Romani. However, Carl Dixon wasn't happy with the way he came into it. Five times European champions this season. And off a perfect pitch, the perfect kick, the perfect start for the hosts. To lose three, Monster Nil. Don't hold him. Tyke Byrne, a little bit further wide on that defence, trying to get a, a head start on the pass, but it was beyond him to buy. Cyril by the prop. Dupont. Oh, is good. Pinballed no off the ball. Counter was good, Somehow. ball available. Toulouse have managed to win it back. Tumac. Aki over the top. Again, looking to try to stretch Irish fabric to breaking. And Juan Cruz Malia finishes the job. Have been able to exploit space and attack. The combination of punch power, seeing the space and executing. This is wonderful. Two meters on the touchline, one sit down and into the corner. Toulouse have this unbelievable knack of being able to get into the 22 and convert. Three quarters of their entries into the 22 turns to points. And the energy, the pace, the gears that they go through. Looking for some space between the red shirts, but that's been stripped away wonderfully well. Carnage! So okay, Dimitri Dalib who got there and set this position up. To Matt. have to chase his own kick. He's not the favourite. Oh. Offside. Well, it's been a, it's been a troubling, bruising start for Monster. Coombs will have another go. So he's doing a good job of getting bodies under the ball at the moment. Pushed aside by Ryan, and now the try, and Hodnett scores. And Monster, who had precious little time. John Clive, thank you. Just doubling that work, doubling that weight. Simon Zebo treading water after hurting his knee in training. So it's a Nash and Daly again on the wings, and Monster just beginning to open up a little here. That's very good. It's amazing how energy and momentum can be taken away or injected into another team. Just, just. Burn. Carberry with the juggle, but with the control in the end. Fakitoa flat to Gavin Coombs. Roundtree talking this week about how he's really developed his game, re-attracting Ireland's attention. No! Not the one-trick pony, in Graham Roundtree's words. Moments like that. Oh, lovely. And now Case is free. And he's... Oh, he was on his way. He might still be. This is Daly. All of a sudden, no! Monster pushing for the button that would give them the lead. Klein. Penalty on the way, maybe more, Carberry got hit as the kick came in, might have affected the direction, but Hodnett's there, still the threat, Nash waving his way through, try scored, Tyburn, that's a belter! Well, it's Munster being to lose, that is brilliant from Fekato, as is that pass there from Coombs, and then they're just keeping the ball alive, it became infectious. Busting your nose through, keeping your hands three of them, playing to space, out of the back. You think Casey's gone. It's a tap tackle. Roly poly keeps it alive. That could have gone through the hands, but they do so well on the edge. And then it's just once again, I mean, they've gone about 60 metres and only two rucks. <clears throat> that is Munster being clinical. That's Munster with bite. And that's Munster in the lead. there, 
doing the Pons job, Ricciano doing a Ricciano job, and then cruising through the middle, Malia, Marchand, all of a sudden, oh, Toulouse sails billowing. Penalty to lose. This is a tough decision. Marshawn, his work rate around the park. How many carries? Tackles complete, knee was down, then it was stripped. Shuffling around for this fullback shirt ordinarily, but um, Ange Capuozzo is back on the bench, the Italian. And that's. Sorry. There's a one! No! Quick ball. And Munster are banking points here. Might yet be banking points. How close. Case is in there. Fekatoa. Omani away quickly. But there's um, too many red shirted defenders for Daly to do much on his own. So he heads back towards his mates and finds Healy. But all of a sudden, Munster operating on the 22. Scotland will look like as they head to Twickenham for the Calcutta Cup on the opening weekend. Right now, it's about this. Stormer Julian Marshall is warming his hands, warming his feet nicely ahead of the Six Nations. Uh, Josh Witcherly, as you will see, on for John Ryan. Cross under the hat. Coombs, brilliant second effort there, so knock on from Toulouse. That is excellent play. That's what fight looks like. It was actually for a neck roll, but there was a couple of different Jack Willis down. That's not a good sight. Thank you. Shane Daly knew that it had been passed back in. I think, I think in the end the kick beat him, but it works out fine for Munster. And the athleticism of Mahoney means that um, a ball that wasn't easy, was there, although not for long. Well, the lead has now changed hands four times in this second half to lose ahead again. Stop, stop. Healy. Frisch. Yeah. And for them, not sympathetic. Okay, let's go for that. We're going to go time, we're going to look at it. So we're just looking at the actions of, I believe, blue players, whether his arm is close to him, then it's a push or it's leading. Um, if that's connected, if you're leading with it, that's illegal. And that's gone to the throat, top so of the chest. I think it's contact's chest first, then ridden up. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it's close to his body as well, it's not a dynamic push so, away. Yes, you're a little bit surprised by that. Yeah. Ben Healy's gone for, for 10 it, minutes and for the bulk of what's I'm clearly away. left of this match. Uh, he's got two very good rugby playing sons, Set. that's for sure. Watching one of them this evening, Joshua. Oh, Munster under pressure, getting the ball away, but not before Carl Dixon's whistle blew ominously. Chaminade breathing hard on a bitter night but continuing to kick like a dream. One last thrust from the hosts. One last big defensive effort from Munster. At the moment, Munster have the losing bonus point and that's what they will take. Well, a puff of the cheeks. Doesn't look entirely happy with life, Hugo Mola, but um, they have won. But that was a contest that kept our attention from start to finish on this Sunday afternoon. Juan Cruz Malia with the early try for Toulouse. John Hodnett as Munster manfully brought their way back into it. Tyburn put them ahead, but Jamonet's kicks take Toulouse home. And they have won this by 20 points to 16. We will see them both in the last 16 in the spring.